Have you become desperate to figure out how to get a dog to stop barking? It's in a dog's nature to bark. They enjoy barking, and they bark for many reasons. Dogs will bark when they want something, when they are playing, when they are establishing their territory, when they are frightened, when they are annoyed, and when they are just saying hi. Too much barking, however, can drive a dog's family and their neighbors crazy. The first step towards controlling excessive barking is to understand the specific reasons behind it. Even after you know the why, don't expect to wave a magic wand and stop your dog from barking. Training your dog to bark less is a time-consuming process. Also keep in mind that some breeds are more apt to bark than others and these could prove more difficult to train. Pack Leadership Inevitably, excessive barking indicates there is a problem with the human, and not the dog. There is something not balanced in the pack, so the dog's needs are not being met. Barking is the only way they can tell you that something is wrong. Dogs need exercise, discipline and affection in order to stop barking. Exercise and discipline will provide the physical as well as psychological stimulation they crave. Affection will provide the dog with a sense of belonging to its pack. This will help you re-establish the dog as a happy member of your household and restore leadership to the human pack leader. Controlling your dog's excitement. I'm sure you've seen it countless times somebody with a small, excited dog that won't stop barking, who then picks up the dog to try to stop it. Unfortunately, this is exactly the wrong approach. The attention and affection from being picked up tells the dog, I like what you're doing right now. This is unintended positive reinforcement, and it only takes a few times to train a dog that its barking is something you want. But it doesn't only happen in the above scenario. Greeting excited dogs. How many of you come home to be greeted by your dog's excited jumping and spinning and barking? And how many of you immediately give affection in return for what you interpret as happiness? This is one of the most difficult things for dog lovers to grasp. When a dog returns to its pack, they are not greeted with excited barking and jumping. Sometimes, there will be sniffs and tail wags, but most of the time it's no big deal when a dog comes back to the pack. Unfortunately, we humans tend to make a big deal out of coming and going from home, and this puts your dog in the wrong state of mind. If you greet your dog in an excited manner, then she will come to expect your return to be a time of excitement. This means that, while she's waiting for you to come back, she will anticipate that excitement, and become frustrated and bored. Now, if you also make a big deal before you go, you've left your dog in an excited state as well. This is the perfect formula to create an excessive barking problem. Quick tips for a barking dog. If you want to stop your dog from barking, the worst thing to do is yell back at them. Keeping your training sessions and your overall environment positive is a big key to reducing barking. Keep things consistent, your family should be in the loop with your training methods when they bark inappropriately. Praise and reward your dog when they're appropriate, while keeping them in an excited state only when the excitement is warranted i.e., dog training or playing fetch. Never reward behavior with physical affection. This will train your dog that barking is the way to get your attention. Extra tip. Use a crate. If you begin to see that your dog is barking to get your attention, a good technique is to simply turn your back and ignore them. Make sure you aren't rewarding the dog for being noisy by giving any attention. Don't talk to them. Don't touch them. Don't even look at them. First, when barking, Put them in their crate or gated room and turn your back to them. Once they stop barking, turn around, praise them, and offer a treat. As their training continues, lengthen the amount of time they must remain quiet before being rewarded. Remember to start small by rewarding them for being quiet for just a few seconds, then working up to longer periods of quiet. One technique is to vary the amount of time you keep your back turned. Keep it fun by rewarding them every 5, 10, 15, 20 seconds, and then mix it up.